Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this nice looking front page in Microsoft Word. Could be for annual report or it could be pretty much for any kind of document. So let's take a closer look and we can get started. I will start in a blank new document and the first things first, you might want to jump into the layout ribbon and make sure that the size of your paper matches what you have inside your printer, just because if you want to change this afterwards, it's a little bit painful. So we want to start with drawing those shapes which resembles a circle, but we want to be pretty precise this time. So what I will do is I will jump into the view ribbon and make sure that the grid lines are enabled. But we want those grid lines to be much bigger. And the only way how to change it, at least that I know of, is we have to have something already drawn. We don't have anything, so I will jump into the insert shapes and I will pretty much draw any kind of shape like there is rectangle. And the only reason for doing this is just so I can see this shape format ribbon, which is already pre-selected for me. And here we have the align button, which shows us drop down menu. And there is this grid line settings which opens the dialog for setting the grid line as it suggests. So what we want to do is we want to increase the spacing for to, for example, like 2.5 inches for both X and Y. And it doesn't matter that much as long as it, this is like fairly big number. So we see only a few of those grid lines. We don't need this rectangle anymore. So I'll delete it. And instead we will draw our final shape. So insert shapes and we are looking for this shape, which is called arc. Now, usually I would press the shift key while drawing to have this like in the circle shape. But just because we have grid lines, I don't need to do this because it will automatically snap to those grid lines. So I have to just draw it from this place all the way to this place, just so it spans over four different sectors of those grid lines. I can adjust the shape of this of this uh, line by dragging those yellow handles. So let me drag this first handle all the way to the bottom like in here. And the second could be like, for example, in here. So this will be our first shape. We want to have multiple shapes. So copy, paste it, control C, control V. Let me do this one more time. Control C, control V, move it to the same spot. And it should be easy with the grid lines and just adjust those and this handle like a little bit smaller. And right now we don't see much other difference, but let, let me just copy paste it one more time. Anyway, control C, control V, move it to the same spot and adjust this yellow handle one more time. So just it's around here. I will select the selection pane or show the selection pane and select everything, right click and select format object. And inside the line menu, let's just increase the size of the line. So the width should jump from 0.5 to maybe like 30 points. And inside the cache, uh, sorry, cap type, I will just change this to round just so those edges, so those ends are rounded nicely. I want to change the colors, but before I do so, I will jump into the design section and for the colors, I will select a predefined palette. This time I will most likely go with blue warm. I think that this was, this was the one which I was using previously. Open the selection pane again and just you know, click anywhere just so nothing is selected and then select the first one, which is the biggest one. And that should be also the lightest one. I can jump into the format shape or I can just go into the ribbon and here from the shape outline, I can select the color and let me just maybe choose uh, like this one for the lightest one. For the middle one, I will choose this color. And for the smallest one, I will choose this one. We will also need one more line. So I will just click anywhere else just so those selection handles are not getting in my way. Select insert shapes and find the line. Start around here and press the shift key. Draw it much bigger than the pane, sorry, than the page, just so it's not clipping. Again, for the line, I will set this to 30 points. Set the cap type to round and the outline color should be the darkest from this row, so this one. And I'm pretty happy with the result. So let's continue with the actual image inside those shapes. I'll select insert shapes and let's draw a circle. Again, we don't need to press the shift key just because it's snapping to the grid lines. But now we have a problem because we want to make this a little bit smaller and it's just not possible with those grid lines displayed. And that's it. I don't think that we know we need those grid lines anymore. So, so jump to the view and uncheck the grid lines. And now we can resize this circle. So let's me let let's just press the shift key together with the control key, which means that it will be scaled from the center and make it just a little bit smaller than those shapes. We don't need any kind of line for this shape. So select line, no line. But for the fill, we want to use some photograph. And I already have this opened in my browser. So I'll, it's from the Pexels website. I will put the link in the description. Right click and select the copy image. Jump back to Word. And for the fill, open the fill settings. Set this to picture or texture fill. And I click this clipboard button, which will use the image from the clipboard. Now, we are not quite, I'm not quite sure if this image was 
like in the square size. So let's just set the tile picture as texture, set this to center and make this a little bit smaller, maybe to like 65% uh, or maybe 60%. That should be fine, looking nice. Okay, so I think that we are happy with the result what we have right now. I will just want to make this a little bit bigger and more centered on the page. So I will select the selection pane, which I already have open in here, but I can also select the home select selection selection pane, which is this one, and select all my objects by hitting the or pressing the control key on my keyboard so everything is selected at the same time. Jump to the shape format and select the group group. So everything is in one group. And what I can do is I can shift my press, uh, so, sorry, press the shift key on my keyboard and just make it a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit centered just so it's vertically or horizontally centered on the page, like so. Okay, I quite like it. So let's move to the next stuff, which is actually typing some text. So select insert shapes text box and draw it like this. Try to make it centered as much as possible. And just so you don't have to watch me type, I've copied my text into the clipboard and I'll just paste it. And for the first line, I might change the font size to maybe like 60 points. And the second one might be maybe 48. I, I believe I was using 48, which we can select from this drop down menu. I will make everything centered. So click this center align. And I believe that I was using font which was called Unisans demo, which is a demo version. But this, I think that this one you can use in your commercial project, there is also a version which you can use only for your personal projects. And you can see it doesn't fit, so I have to make this a little bit wider, like so. And for the second line, I was using the same font, but this time I was using this thin version just so it nicely fits with the first line. I don't need the outline around this rectangle, so select the rectangle, shape format, shape fill should be no fill, and outline should be no outline. Now for the actual text, I was using colors from the same color palette, so I believe I was using like this very dark violet-like color, and a little bit lighter for the second line, maybe it was this one, I believe. I've also had like the line between those, uh, I'm actually pressing my down arrow on my keyboard to make this, to move this a little bit down on my page. I had the line in between the, li in between the lines of my text. You can do this in a multiple different ways. I usually prefer to just draw a line, so insert shapes line, and draw a line with the shift key pressed so it's a just a straight line and then change the color of the outline to whatever you feel like and of course the width maybe one point or you know two points should be fine i think the final step was adding the year in this uh, right top corner so i can just copy this one more time i can do it like ctrl c ctrl v or i can just drag it with my ctrl key pressed to create a copy and i will just type in 2021 make this a little bit smaller and right aligned and then just position it properly on the page like so just so it's not touching anything and i think that i'm happy with the result now one more final step if you compare this to my previous document this photo was a little bit like faded it had a little bit of color correction let me show you how i did this so i will select this oval six which is the oval which is holding the photo and i'll just copy paste it Control c Control v and just move it to the same spot and what I want to do is I want to slightly thin this to the blue color. And I will use a very simple trick, like right click, select format shape, and for the actual fill itself, changes to gradient fill, and select one of the presets. I believe I was using like maybe this blue one or maybe this, this one. This one should be fine. And what I will do is for the white ones, I will select the white stops. I will select it and those set those transparency to 100%. Just those are fully transparent, so this one as well as this one. And you can see, kind of see like the photo behind. So now we can move this in middle white stop more to the right side to reveal more of the photo or more to the left side to make the blue on the bottom more prominent. And I think that this perfectly fits the you know scheme or color scheme of the actual document just because the photo wasn't the, this exactly the same color as those lines, but by adding this extra step, by adding this extra oval or, or, or ellipse or circle with a little bit of blue tint which looks like this i think it not, um, fits much nicely now and you can see the difference as i click this eye icon how it looks like and that's pretty much it uh, the last thing to mention is that the inspiration for this board document or for this 
creation actually comes from the free pick website i've just searched from i just searched for like random and your report and found this nice looking resource that's pretty much it and that's how you create a nice looking front page inside microsoft word for any kind of document thank you for watching and see you next time bye